beautifuls and beloveds. How are you? I'm Noelle Rose Anderson hyphen Kale. I have a lozenge or I don't know what this is. Hard candy. I'm sorry. I've been doing a lot of talking today. It needs to be done. So, hey. I'm a real and uncensored dance warrior, all that good stuff. I usually talk about dance, I usually encourage you. But I'm ratting on people lately. And they're fun. Alright. So, my other videos, I was briefly touching on Schindler's List. I say it that way because. I am of German descent as well, and, um, yeah. I speak very little German. I know more Latin-based languages than German. It's hard. To me, it just sounds so harsh, and I'm like, I can't do this. So I know a little, but very little. I, mean, I grew up listening to French and Italian mostly, so that's how it goes. Okay. <clears throat> How are you guys doing? I hope you're keeping healthy. So I wanted to display some masks for you. I know how to make these. Mm, my body. Oh, I just want to stretch today. I know how to make them. Um, it's cheaper and quicker to buy them. So this, we well, can play Cat's Cradle with us. Hold on. Look, I made a hammock. See that? being silly. Okay, so this is uh, a surgical mask, you know, and this is the kind that loops around the ears. I hate wearing any masks, really, but we did a little test with these, and uh, stuff goes right through them. They're making our medical professionals wear these. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, but, you know, I, I, I work with fabric, right? So I'm like looking at this, and I tore a couple of these apart, and we did our own little test, and we spritzed it, and we held it very taut like this, and we spritzed it with a, you know, squirt bottle. It goes right through, you can feel it pass, and I'm like, what's the point? Whatever. <clears throat> so, I don't know. Is this like the, the thing that they taught in the 1950s in the schools? Because everybody was afraid, and probably rightfully so, of nuclear war. Drop down under your desk, cover. It, it doesn't, is that just to make you feel better? Is this just to make us feel better? Really, we've done our own little experiments. What is this for? What does this really do? But it's an option. This, see better days. I do know how to sterilize these and keep their life, life, livelihoods going. So this is one of the original N95 masks. My father, He's like, in case of a chemical war, da 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 da. <laughs> I'm not laughing at him or making fun of him. He may have been 100% right all this, this time. So, he gave me some of these and then we bought our own. Long before this virus thing came out. It is truthful. We started wearing these outside. Outside. Because of that white crap in the air. It has gotten worse and worse and worse. Now, what we've been doing, and this is actually kind of smart, these look stupid. I'm sorry. It actually looks like I made, um, I was taking a theater class, dance theater class, and we had to come up with different ideas for makeup, so I'm like, hot damn, go to my Facebook page, you'll see all the crazy stuff I did. So I was trying to come up with, you know, how do you make, like, a 
right? A horse's snout. So I took the bottom of an HDPE bottle and I was just experimenting and I made a whole bunch of really cool like masks and things. No money. <laughs> and I'm like, this is fun. It's hard to do it on yourself. So sometimes I got other people to be my my models. Here you go. Now this is more effective. You double mask it, right? It's more effective that way, and you don't look as stupid. <laughs> Just putting it bluntly. And I figured out how to hide this in my hair. So from behind, it, you're not masked, you know. It's so stupid. Whatever. These are a little more sportier. Now this looks almost like a fish thing that I made with um, clay. And um, you can, if you don't have a lot of money, you can actually buy clay and mold it. It sticks to your skin too. And you can make all these really cool designs on, on a person. It's really fun. It looks like a fish design that I made. Right? With the eye. I mean, I gotta wonder now. Because <clears throat> I took pictures with my, my phone, and I'm like, because that was part of the class, too. Turn this stuff in. Some things I didn't turn in, because it was like, this is stupid. And sometimes it was for my dances. I had to turn in pictures. Hey, do some makeup, show me your ideas. How about this? No, I'll do something more like that. Oh, how about this? No, I'll do something. And go back and forward. Um, the thing I don't like about this one, it's really hard to get this shorter band around my head. Around anybody's head. But, you know, we tested this one too. So we tested all three of them. This. I don't know what they're thinking. Unless we don't have the right ones, but I'm pretty sure we have the right ones. This doesn't do anything, really. It goes right through. Alright. Maybe it shortens the dip. But we tried, and I'm like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, whatever. This one. This one's great. Especially with, like I said, with the arrow out there like that. Just double mask it. You can even go like this. So you can put your more stylish looking mask on over it. And you don't look as ridiculous. And it can look cool. I actually have this really hot looking outfit that I made. Really hot looking. I really look like a dance warrior. But um, I, I love it. I'm like, okay. This will be my going out outfit when I want it top. So I've got that. But, um, you know, the black ones, they look like ninjas, huh? I'm like, what kind of messaging are we doing? They also remind me of burkas, like a partial burka. So, I, you know, I gotta wonder. Because, we, like I said, we started wearing these because of the very, 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 very toxic air outside. And my dad said, this will work pretty well. And so if you really want to protect yourself, they have other things. And I'm like, <sighs> hazmat suit, Dad? Really? So we had to adapt and figure this out on our own. So it looked totally stupid. You know, these just feel more comfortable than this. Because this will put creases here. And I'm like, oh great. This crap in the sky is already damaging skin. Oh, a lot of vitamin E, eat a lot of foods with vitamin E, people. Because it'll help, really. Have you seen our video? We've got more of state. And how is it now? Did it clear out? Not completely. It's still there, but it's certainly a mess. Yeah, they like to spray at night. This one's pretty decent. This one is the most comfortable that we have, except for this. And, um, yeah. I like the ones that loop around the ears. So I might just re-sew this my own way. 
I'm a seamstress, I know how to do this stuff. But you can do it too. You can just cut this and just tie it here, because this will be severed, and cut it here. You'll have some extra excess, but and then you can tie it and loop it behind your ears if that's what you prefer. Just make sure that it doesn't uh, downgrade the security over your, your face. So we're going to continue wearing these outside. Mm-hmm. There. You know, you gotta ask questions. Why are they saying, oh no, go outside, and as long as you're socially distant, you can uh, forego the masks, right? With this stuff out there, you wanna breathe this in? You crazy? Mm -mm. Now, a lot of cleaning chemicals that are advertised, promoted by the CDC on their site, we need somebody, President Trump, can you have them uh, tested and make sure they don't have anything that they shouldn't have in them because, what's going on here? Dust. <laughs> because um, there's something very bad in them. I don't know what it is, but people are not getting normal allergic reactions that they used to get to chemicals. It is, uh, how can I say? It's like a thousand times worse. And it's like, why are you using this stuff in hospitals and schools? Isn't that going to wear down the immune system? Because look at this virus was said, you just need a certain percentage of alcohol. Okay, then just use that with water. We have a medical professional, a pharmacy technician, who is trained, who had to be trained, right, in sterilization <clears throat> and proper procedures, there's something funny going on. So, you know, check with your doctor on all things. Make sure he's integral or she is integral. Use your common sense, though. If you're feeling and having more, um, what do you call it, physical symptoms, look and see when it started. We noticed a lot more of this shit in the sky uh, right around Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas vacation, uh, and then it let up a little bit, right? And then two weeks before COVID, stepped foot or blew in, whatever the hell it did, into our country. And that's also when we noticed uh, the upstairs neighbors. I'm like, are they using insecticides? Because this is how I react to insecticides. At least the chemicals that are in there. Yeah, very interesting to us. So, anyway, I just showed you a couple options here, but look, check with your doctor, but if I were you, I would wear your mask outside. Are you having a hard time tasting salt? Put salt at the tip of your tongue. If you can't taste it, you need to wear this outside. Am I right? This shit deadens your olfactory nerves. And part of that's your taste. Not from the virus. I mean, what if they, let's just say this, what if they're listening to us and we're talking about our reactions to chemicals? and they're, all of a sudden they're listed as symptoms. New symptoms to COVID. Come on. One of the magazines, I won't say which, my circulation was doing something weird one day and I'd never done that before. And then they were saying it's COVID toe. Remember that? We sent that to the president, but they used my picture that I took with our, I guess it was our phone. And you can see my match it up, my feet. The only thing that they did was they flopped to the picture. That's not gonna save her ass. And I'm like, those are my toes. And I remember doing it. And I purposely pulled my pinky toe down and I, cause my toes flip up at the end. And I purposely pulled my big toe, you know, I went like this, pulled it down. So it didn't look like that. They say it's a very feminine trait. I'm like, oh great. Um, 
And I'm like, oh my god, that's the picture. No, it wasn't COVID, it was because of toxins. Like, chemical toxins. So unless COVID-19 is actually a chemical toxin, I think these people need to stop listening to us. Oh my god. Could you imagine if an institution was actually secretly... Let's just have fun with this, okay? Hypothetically, right? Of course! Uh, was using us to test products unbeknownst to us. But I'm like, wait a minute, it states here, not tested on animals, and how the hell did you get your statistics? I'm really curious. And how did you get to pass your double blind tests and all this shit? How do you know what symptoms this causes? What, you just kind of release it on an animal, even if you lab tested it. How'd that go? And those rats talk back to you? What about that poor mouse? I'm getting a headache, squeak, squeak. I mean, right? Yeah. How the fuck do you know if it's getting a headache? As far as I know, only humans get a headache. And only humans can communicate that. Yeah. They're kind of screwed, aren't they? Yeah. Come on, give me anything and I'll debate you and win. I will find the hole in your argument. I'll find many holes in your argument. You gonna find a hole in mine, then I'll find a hole in something else. Don't worry about it. I'm a debate champion. I'm not stupid. So that must mean, contrary to popular belief in the bad guy historical, and I'm not based in emotion, I am based on logic. And that, my friends, is why my art rocks. Also because I do have good emotional skills, and I get it. Yep. I know some of my mentors are probably saying, holy shit. Not one of them. They knew who I was. They're like, you don't know Noelle really that well, do you? She's not timid. <laughs> Damn straight. Thank you. I think I might love you most of all. Um, yeah, Tibbet is not a descriptor for me. Ophelia is not a descriptor for me. Strange how they were trying to paint me that way, huh? Yeah. It's like, I could probably play the role, but I hate it, so I wouldn't enjoy it. I could probably play it very well. I just don't respect that character. Excuse me. Anyway. Okay, seems I've done enough today. <laughs> what else can I talk about? Hold on, I'm gonna get something to drink. Enjoy these. I could be completely wrong, but I don't think so. Yeah. So I will not go along quietly with anything. So why are these people dying? Are they really dying from a virus or something else? Is COVID-19 code for, for a double meaning for something? Um, Something's just not adding up here. At all. So President Trump, you need to get your keys done in gear. No, you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. Um, I think it's pretty amazing. So, I'm gonna do another video because I have a really groovy announcement. I kind of touched on it already, but I want to talk about it again because I'm really excited about something. Well, uh, God bless you guys. Use your noggin. Think. Do not just take everything that is served and forced upon you. Actually, see if it's true. Because uh, a lot of what you're seeing out there is stuff that they got from me. And I'm like, uh, that's not what I was talking about. How dare you use my stuff and my words and my private conversations for that? Wrong.
you don't win the Christmas turkey. Ah. <laughs> Remember how they used to do that? They'd do the little buzzer. Ah. And they'd reject you off the stage. Lovely, huh? Okay, so I'm going on to the next video. Love you guys. Be good. Yes?